హాయ్ హలో ఓల్ ద బోరీస్ ఏ వెల్కమ్ టు అనదర్ వ్లాగ్ ఫస్ట్లీ ఐఎమ్ గోయింగ్ టు అడ్రస్ దిస్ అండ్ ఐ డోంట్ వాంట్ టు ఎవర్ అడ్రస్ ఇట్ అగైన్ బికాస్ వావ్ ఓకే ఇట్స్ కోల్డ్ నే షా ఇట్స్ వింటర్ can't be surprised right can't be surprised but not only that ne it's raining in johannesburg in the middle of winter johannesburg doesn't get rain in the middle of winter you can catch me outside because we just don't ever and typically what happens when it rains when it's cold it becomes colder i'm told and right now i'm 25 minutes away from getting a load shedding it is saturday this morning i haven't eaten it is um 25 to 12 i haven't eaten and when it's cold i really like to enjoy comfort food and it, it, let me tell you what i'm going to be eating because i don't think you've ever seen me eat this on my channel because it's not a meal or a snack food item that i typically eat is a pie you know why because sometimes comfort food when it's cold is a necessary you know sometimes comfort food we need it just to feel better about our sorry as cold as lives okay and uh, that is what i am going to do so typically i never really buy the main size like the big pie so um near me there's a place that does like miniature pies right small ones uh so i'm going to have two of those with coffee because what do you even mean at this point i can barely even feel my fingers and there won't be power in the next 25 minutes 20 minutes and now what what am i supposed to be doing this is what i'm supposed to be doing about and at the worst part is that i don't even know if the power is going to go for 2 hours it's going to go for 3 hours sometimes it goes sometimes it doesn't me angazi anymore i just can't keep up with hcom and the business of what is going on with the energy system in this country and i refuse to entertain it okay so just to put you up to speed um yesterday i went and i got my nails done because they were looking kind of tragic okay my safari holiday nails were just like sister relax so i went and i got my nails done yesterday and i spent a lot of the day reading this or even listening to it because i was up and down so i had it in my in my ears it was going on in my ears because i've decided to take the plunge and subscribe to script which is an audio book um platform where it's got a lot of well known audio books so i decided to subscribe to script and i'm i'm glad i did because i get through books much faster because i'm constantly doing something if i'm not busy in the house i'm 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 out and about walking around at work working and sometimes it just makes it quicker to get through a book when you are listening to it the only downside about audio books is that there's beautiful lines in certain books like this one that you can't read because now you are listening to it because you are driving or whatever you can't really mark down or yo this line is something worth remembering yeah but but either way it's fun it's fun um this book is if we were villains by ml rio a female author and let me tell you <sighs> if you love shakespeare hi shem which it's me it's me i'm that person i enjoyed shakespeare in high school um you know 12th night romeo and juliet uh 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 what's this hamlet king lear all of that i read a little bit of shakespeare in varsity as well just as personal reading not necessarily um you know proper syllabus reading i enjoy shakespeare it's one of the reasons why i picked up hamnet as well because i wanted to read about people who are connected to shakespeare not just shakespeare okay not just will you know what i'm saying so this oh if you have watched 
Dead Poet Society. Now, this is dark academia, right? This is this is an adult novel that follows seven friends who went to this theater school, to this really affluent theater school. And we read the story from the point of view of Oliver, who is the main protagonist of um, uh, this book, and one of the main, the friends, one of the seven friends. And it opens with Oliver being in that jail, okay? Oliver was jailed for 10 years uh, following what happened when they were at school, at this theater school. So the young adults, they do theater, and when they do theater, like it's Shakespeare, pretty much. So this is written like a play, which is nice because you get like act one, scene one, two, three, four, five, act two, scene one, two, three, four, five. I love it. I love it. It just takes me back to all of that. You know what I'm saying? And I love how Shakespeare breathes life into these characters, like Shakespeare's books and his writings and all of that. They love Shakespeare. It actually comes across through what they say, what they're studying, the plays that they are reading. Um, not only that, but even in their daily conversations where they're just typically talking to one another, they use lines from Shakespeare. It's just, it, it brings Shakespeare alive. And I really, really love it. For some people, they might not enjoy it because Shakespeare is not the easiest to understand. I hear the chat. But honestly, oh, it makes it a little bit more accessible in that um, it's, it's new age, right? It's new adult, you know? And at the same time, it just pulls from Shakespeare. It pulls from back then. Uh, but it is a little bit of a mystery. It's very character-driven, right? Not really much of a plot, but there is something that happens. It's, it's, a, it's a bit of a mystery. I wouldn't say a full-on thriller, right? Something happens, someone dies. Okay, this is why Oliver, the book opens with Oliver, spending time in the jail. But the detective who was investigating that case 10 years ago feels like nobody. There's more to the story than what we figured out or what was 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 you know discovered in the investigation so the detective 10 years later just before oliver is released comes up to oliver in the jail cell and says listen i need you to tell me what really happened because we know we know that something really went down here and it's not what everybody thinks it is so Really, really interesting. Love how it follows the characters, the seven characters. There's Ren, Meredith, um, Meredith, <laughs> Meredith, Grey's Anatomy. <laughs> There's Ren, Meredith, and Philippa, the one of the three, one of the se three of the seven. Way, Sloom, three of the seven. And then there's four boys, Oliver, Richard, who's a dick, okay? precedes his name you know it's his name and he actually is a little bit of a dick oliver richard james and alexander and oh my alexander i love him he's so he's like he's, he's just cool and suave and anyway so really really enjoying this book i am uh, pretty much over halfway with it about 300 about 80 80 percent done about 307 odd pages in it and it's got about 400 pages which is a lot but I'm gonna take a bit of a break I've been reading it for two days now and I'm almost done with it which is uh, wild even for me that's wild okay uh, but I'm gonna take a break I'm gonna make myself a cup of tea I'm gonna put some water in my flask because the power's going and at some point I'm going to need to make a cup of tea because guya bada. So I'm going to do all those important things first. Then we're going to chill. I don't even know what to do. I, there's nothing. There is a nothing to do. It's Saturday. It's cold. It's it just, You just want to watch the TV and cuddle up on the couch. You know what I'm saying?
know what the funny thing is? It's actually so dark in the house because it's been raining all night. The weather kind of sucks. The power's about to go. It's dark in the house. What must happen? Hmm? We can't vlog, Hunter. We can't do anything. But when Eric I'm expecting a parcel to be delivered now in the next 15 odd minutes or so. And I'm just gonna probably sit here with no power. I mean, I've got solar so my lights work, but my plugs don't. Because solar is expensive, so, you know, you gotta do things bit by bit in life. But I think, given with how everything is, yeah, maybe getting the extra addition of the panels so that the pl plugs can also work is a necessary because Sishali South Africa. Let me eat some food. I'll talk to you in a little bit. <sighs> because it's cold. And there is no power. Let me explain to you what happens to the body. You're probably wondering to yourself, why is she drinking if it's cold? And there's no power. Let me tell you, biology. When it's cold, you must drink something cold so that your body tries to find ways in which to warm you up. That's why when it, it's cold, people drink things like whiskey, brandy, what what, because then your body will find a way to warm itself up. When it's hot, you must drink something hot to cool your body down. It's basic biology. And if you think Urkemaka, Google it. Any doctors here, they will tell you straight up, with no, no, Katleo, no, 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 unepil, unepil, or or unama. Or So, catch me outside, okay? While I figure out what to do with my laugh, um, I really don't feel like reading, but I might. I might. I might just sit there by the couch, by the sun there, over there, and read, because I really have nothing else to do. I could edit, but I don't want to. You know, it's cold, it's the weekend, I want to relax a little bit. Um, I could go out. I don't wanna. It's cold, you know. You know when it's so cold that your nose is even watery. Mo, this part of your nose. Yeah, that's the kind of cold I'm dealing with today, chia. All right. Okay, good morning, hi, uh, I am running late, as always, <sighs> having a cup of tea. It's the next day from the footage that you saw, yesterday I was just out with my partner and we were out having lunch, uh, nothing hectic, nothing, nothing hectic at all. Today I've been invited to a Wimbledon watch party kind of event, sponsored by Sip Smith. Sipsmith is a gin company brand and uh, one of the they are one of the sponsors for Wimbledon this year which is uh, lovely I, I do quite enjoy tennis tennis is one of the sports that I can actually watch without feeling like oh my gosh I'm bored or whatever and of course I'm a Roger Federer fan and I love me some Serena Williams and um, my all-time favorite uh, tennis player was Pete Sampras. <laughs> if you know, you know. If you're young, you have no idea. Pete Sampras. Novak Djokovic actually reminds me a little bit of Pete Sampras. I don't know. In, in the way he plays, in his style of playing, he reminds me a little bit of Pete Sampras. Um, so I do quite enjoy tennis and I do follow tennis. Uh, I know a lot of people that are probably watching this are big fans of Rafa because everybody loves Rafa and my sister is actually in Rafa's country right now your ultimate favor is in Spain so you're going to see quite a lot of uh, vlog footage and content from my sister 
uh, while she's in Spain. There's already content on her Instagram and I'm pretty sure she'll be dropping vlogs when she comes back or while she's there, I don't know. Um, but uh, I am trying to get ready to go to this event. I need to be out of this house in the next half an hour odd. Thinking that I'm probably going to wear a coat, one of uh, my gray coat. I, I can't decide whether I want to wear the gray one or whether I want to wear the camel colored one uh, and which one, the Ted Baker one or the, I don't know. Uh, but I'm thinking coat with um, a black turtleneck, black jeans, and uh, my Aldo winter boots that I wore at Naledi's graduation. I think that's that's what I might wear. I don't know. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. I'm not worried about that right now. I'm worried about just getting my face done, really. I haven't even done my hair as well. I've just washed it but I haven't styled it the way I typically do, but I'll do that a little bit later. Tandy is here. She's in the other room, busy working. The reason why I switched the camera on now is because more and more often I keep getting asked, how do you do your makeup? Your makeup is so nice, it's simple, it's elegant. How do you do your makeup? Please do a young tutorial. Somebody asked that in one of my vlogs, I think the Lions Valley vlog. Please do a young tutorial on how you apply your makeup. In my head, I'm like, I've done so many videos, vlogs, where I'm sitting with you guys and I'm actually having a conversation with you guys uh, while I'm doing my makeup. So you can see it now, I'm doing it now. I don't ever think that I would do a makeup based centered video, but let's test the theory. If uh, 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 you guys would like to see me actually do a full face of makeup of how I do my makeup in a standalone video say I or actually put a emoji of um, lipstick in the comments below and then then I'll see that okay you guys want to you guys really want to see this okay So I'm going to do my face now and stop talking because I work slower when I am busy running my mouth, cha. okay? Yeah, but the, the makeup is sitting pretty good today. This is how I do my makeup. I am going to speed it up. You can watch if you want to watch. Um, but I need to get my ass going real quick. I'm gonna, oh, and by the way, I finished If We Were Villains yesterday. Uh, I'm telling you, reading a book in conjunction with listening to it on audio is the best thing I've ever done for me. I read books much quicker in that way because I listen to them while I'm uh, driving, what have you. So I was listening to If We Were Villains last night and I finished it around 10.30 last night. I read it over four days. It was around... Um, 400, 420 odd pages, I think, read it over four days, uh, because I would listen to it while I was driving everywhere, I would listen to it while I was walking around in the mall with my pods in, um, whatever, any free time that I had, when there was no power, I would listen to it and read it at the same time, so, honestly, Audiobooks are great. They're really, really great. If you can find the book that you're reading on audiobook, you're most likely going to read it much faster than if you would on the thing. That's what I use. My hair is already uh, wet, so.
so this is just gonna help the curl pop out stick out look nice <sighs> again it's something that I've been asked as well like how do you your hair is so pretty how do you maintain your hair guys I wash my hair once a week where I pull out all the knots and the dead hair and all of that but um, most of the time this is how I do my hair I don't oil my hair every day I wet it every day um, but I don't style it every day no I don't do that then that just leaves too much product in my hair and then I just sort of run my fingers through it like this I do not comb my hair I don't this and I run my fingers through it like so just to give it that that curl that bounce you know what I'm saying so I actually want to dye my hair all my hair this uh, sort of blonde color that I've got at the top there but uh, the piece de resistance is the gel the gel is what you guys see in the videos I just take a, bit, a dollop of the gel and I put it on my hands like so and then I just run it on the top there just to lay lay the edges that's it that is all I do then when I get home the next day uh, if I'm too tired to wash the gel out the next day I wash it out when I'm in the shower getting ready for work or wherever when I'm getting ready I'll wash it out but I just literally run it from the front here like so as you can see see and then it just dries it dries clear of course and not white and this is how I do baby yeah this is how we do it <coughs> this is how we do it this is how we do it okay let's uh let's get dressed place because the invite just said Ribeville and if you've been here Ribeville this hotel the boutique hotel here it used to be the Tin Swallow Hotel and now it's the Ribeville boutique hotel or something like that um, it's beautiful here I've been here for a few events I remember the last event that I came here for was the it was an Imani event it was a makeup event and uh, yeah Let's go in, let's uh, meet some people, let's do some things. <laughs> Hey. Hello. Hi. 
Uh, it's a bit of a mess behind me, but that's neither here nor there. Uh, just going to close off this vlog. Going to show you a couple of things before I close it off. So yesterday I went to the Sipsmith event and it was lovely. Really enjoyed it. As somebody who is a gin drinker, I was really looking forward to trying out their gins and... Um, you know, having a good time, mixing and mingling with a people. Um, I'm wearing my onesie right now because hua bata. Hua bata South Africa right now. Hua bata. Actually, hua bata in Johannesburg right now because because eh, 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 the maximum in Cape Town is like 23, 24. More is like minus 50. Hey man, it's cold here. Yeah. It's cold. So that's why I'm wearing this and that's why I'm wearing this. Uh, but I'm going to close off this video here. Before I do that, I just wanted to share with you guys. I don't know how long this video is going to be because I've got footage on my phone and I've got footage on here. So I'm not quite sure how long it's going to be. It's really hard for me to get those aesthetic shots that I used to do in my vlogs. But I'm going to get back there you know i'm just i'm just producing a whole lot of content right now and uh it's is a mess there's, there's a lot there's a lot going on you know on top of work and on top of school and all of that good tricky good tricky to be aesthetic and to be you know doing all that stuff but anyway um so from this eh, so from this uh, here event from yesterday we got some things you know it's a sip smith you know you know I wanna hear. Say, go back to the snapback. Go back snapback. Let let let's go to the now. If you guys don't wear snapbacks, okay? So get to the snapback. It's a Sip Smith Landani, and then of course Wimbledon. You know Wimbledon. So whoever wants to come, get to the party, or get to the Chicago, or get to the something in Volvan Tennis. Whoever wants to come, so we can play those little games. You know, like red light, green light. You know. We also had those games that we played when we were kids. If you want to come through Rizale Party, then Rizale Party in Chicago. Then Rizale Party in Chicago. And then some, I mean, it's really on brand with Wimbledon. I get it. Thank uh, so you. thanks so much to Sip Smith and uh, for having me yesterday at Reboville. It was really, really pretty. And I'm sure you've seen that footage by now. Uh, today, I just came back from work. We have officially hit stage six of load shedding in South Africa. So if I do not upload my videos in time, please do know that this is one of the reasons why, because I have to go to work and then come back and then set up and then upload and all of that. So sometimes I get home and there's no power. Sometimes I get home, but then I have like an hour or so to get my stuff together before there's no power and all of that. So it's just a lot, <laughs> it's just a lot. Uh, but also, uh, I hope you guys do check my community tab as well. Sorry, you're being rude. Oh, it's my sister. It's the Spaniard. My sister's in Spain right now. So she's sending me stuff to pretty much make me jealous. And I am. I'm jealous. Okay? I'm jealous. Um, I'm jealous. Yep, yes. Okay, anyway. Uh, so, lastly... For my birthday, along with some of the other gifts that I got for my birthday, with my trip and all of that, I got some gifts from my friends as well. This one was from Mbali. Mbali knows that I love to read. So she got me this book that I wanted to pick up myself and she was like, nah girl, nah girl, I got you. I got you. And she deliberately left the price tag on because she wants to show me how much I mean to her. Because books are expensive. And I hear the chat. So Mbali got me Memphis by Tara M. Uh, Stringfellow, which follows a generation, I think three or four generations of women from a family. It reminds me very much of uh, Red at the Bone by Jacqueline, 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 somebody, somebody, Woodson, I think, I think, um, which follows also generations of black women and what they go through and all of that. Really, really excited to read this, but I'm currently reading something else. So thanks and balls. Love ya. Uh, Prudence also got me a gown. I got a couple of things, but uh, you know me, I ain't finna do all that what I got for my birthday. I... Nah, I think I did it once or twice or whatever, but doesn't matter, okay? And today I got to take a lot Take a lot, eh? Take a lot delivery, okay? And this again is also from another one of my friends who got me 
some books, chat. He got me some books because he knows that I love to read. And I'm pretty sure these are the books. <laughs> these are the books. These are the books. So I'm going to open them up. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm dying. I'm dying. He also asked me, um, what do you want for your birthday? Blah, blah, blah. And I was just like, books, bro. Like, I really, I'm really not a fussy person for birthday, yeah, can I? Like, just get me things that I like. Get me something from my kitchen. Like, the other day, not the other day, like two days ago, uh, my partner got me a decanter because I'm trying to do this thing where I'm drinking, I want to drink red wine now and just lay off the gin a little bit. So my partner got me a decanter and he's like, ah, oh, well, let's have a decanter for my house and your house so we can drink the wine together. I'm like, I mean, I guess. I mean, it is my birthday month. I mean, I guess. <laughs> so, and then my friend got me this. And uh, <laughs> it's books. He actually asked me, what do you want? And I'm like, books. And then he's like, okay, send me the list of books you want. And then I sent him quite a few. But then I was just like, no, these are the ones that I want. And he ordered them for me on the same day, I think, that I sent him the list. And <laughs> thanks, buddy. <laughs> so these are some that I've also been looking at, and I was just like, oh, books are so expensive, right? Oh, but I got these. So this one is from Imbolo Mbue, and this is how beautiful we are. I saw this at Exclusive Books the other day, and I was just like, oh my god. Ah, the cover um i'm not going to i'm not going to tell you if you want to see it just a screenshot if you want to see what it's about just screenshots love it and then uh the secret history by donna todd the reason why i wanted this one is because i just recently read we were villains and I know that We Were Villains was highly influenced by the secret history. So it's very dark academia. And this is known as a modern classic. Like, this book is well known, okay? And I just love how <laughs> it's floppy. We love it. Um, so, again, something very, very similar. Students, something happens. Yada, yada, yada. Dark academia. Can't wait to read this. Uh, but, wow. 500, eh? 500 pages! And then, of course, I really am excited. I really love Viola Davis, so I'm really, really excited to read this one as well. Uh, I'm so excited. Thanks, buddy. Thank you so much. I've got great friends, and I really... I don't want to lie, bro, I've got great friends, and they, they get me really lovely stuff, because I also get them lovely stuff, okay, okay, but catch me outside, and uh, finally, oh, I'm going to have to go upstairs for this one, finally, I'm going to be doing book giveaways, yes, because the other day, I was clearing out my book section, and I've got a lot of books, okay, and I was just like, no, this is not fair, this is not right, um, some of these books, I, 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 why am I keeping them? You know what I'm saying? I'm going to keep, I want to keep books that I know I love and I'm going to love for forever and ever. Amen. So I sat down and I looked through all of my books and I was like, okay, I love this book, but do I really want to keep it now? So I picked out 12 books from my collection of books and we're going to go upstairs and I'm going to show you all these books. I picked up 12 books and... I'm going to do the giveaways on YouTube and on Instagram. So there'll be six for YouTube and there'll be six for Instagram. So please do uh, watch out on my community tab if you're somebody who really loves my book content and you actually read. I'm going to be very particular about who I choose to get this particular giveaway because I know that my book content is not really highly viewed on my channel and I understand that I mean reading is not for everybody not everybody reads and I hear the chat but I do know the people who actually follow my book content or like or comment in the videos and whatever so I'm not necessarily going to pick somebody who hardly ever comments on any of my book stuff to win this giveaway because I feel like it would be more deserving to somebody who's consistently been following the book content Okay, and um, I'm also going to do the other six books on Instagram as well. 
and um, I will announce everything in community posts on Instagram. So basically do follow me here and also follow me on Instagram because you need to be following me on both platforms to be able to enter the, that's it. And they, they're good books. I'm not going to take shit books and be like, oh, mm, eh, eh. I'm not going to do that. Okay, I've got a little bit more decorum than that. So I'm going to show you uh, which books I've decided to uh, give away. And then I'm going to wrap this video up right here, right now. Oh, it's my sister. It's my sister on the, it's my sister on the tube. Look, look, look. Hey, sister. So uh, here we are. The lighting isn't the best. You can take a pause right now or a screenshot. These are all the books that I'm going to be giving away. I'm going to split them into six. I'm not quite sure which is going to go where, what, 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 what. But I want both giveaways to have very good books in them. So, yeah. Lots. I've read most of these. The only ones that I haven't read are these ones that are at the bottom here. They're mortalist and safe. But great things that I've heard about these. The rest I've read. So, going to do a giveaway. Make sure that you are there on the YouTube. Make sure that you are there on the Instagram so that you know there will be a community post that will drop on my YouTube and there will be a community post that will drop on my Instagram. And they will both have different images because there'll be six books for YouTube giveaway and there'll be six for Instagram giveaway. So that's going to happen within the next few days. But by the time this vlog goes up, I think you might have already seen it. So yeah, that's pretty much it from me. I'm just giving these books away as a thank you, but not only that, just God, sometimes you gotta let things go, you know? Sometimes you gotta let things go so that you bring new things in, you know what I'm saying? And I got four new books. I just showed you four new books. I mean, I could let some books go, you know what I'm saying? So here we are. We're good. Wow, that was a big shake. Here we are, good to go. Um, I'm gonna go. I know that you guys are wondering what's going on with the podcast. It's coming. I'm, I'm situating myself, okay? And it seems easier for me now to just record content for YouTube as opposed to recording content for YouTube, the podcast, and what have you. I'm still trying to get myself situated with school stuff and all of that. So one thing at a time. Okay, but knowing me, it's 11 things at a time. That's how I roll. Um, so I'm going to go. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. And if you have, please, please do subscribe to the channel. And also join the membership space because uh, good things are happening on there. Okay, good things are happening on there. You're missing certain videos that you would typically see here. But now they're going on to the membership space because it'd be like that sometimes. It'd be like that sometimes. Um, I up upload three times a week. One for the membership space and two videos on the main space. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm going to go. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. And uh, we're on the road to 30K. Hey, on the road to 30K. I'll see you in the next video. Mwah.